Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today I am taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called a Medieval Plague Doctor. It is a low poly model, and it does intrigue me as that era of history is somewhat intriguing, at least to me. So let's take a look at the asset itself. So it comes with a demo scene, which I always love to see. Always good to see a demo scene because it gives us a good indication of what we're getting within this uh, asset and it's nice to see for example in the game view it almost mirrors what we see here there's obviously a little bit of post-processing going on in the store image but you know you can't really take that for granted it is what we see so quality wise i think it's pretty decent i mean if we add a little bit of post-processing to it it just make it look even more creepy we can see the glow here of this lantern it's kind of cool so post-processing always adds a little extra uh, but quality wise yeah i think it's quite nice for a low poly asset i think it's pretty decent it is pretty decent quantity wise uh, we obviously get the doctor here uh, we get the lantern this and we also get everything in the background which i think it's best for me to class that as extras because on the actual store itself yes i know it's got um, some specifications there but it only describes itself as the doctor which is good in all fairness it's pretty decent so getting all that background as well i would count as extras folders are fairly neat not as neat as i have seen in a lot of other assets but i you know that they're manageable they're manageable usually i like to keep all prefabs in a folder all you know textures in a folder pre you know materials whatever this one does split them out a little bit but it's not to worry it's not going to take away from uh, the use ease of use at all to be honest how versatile is it? Not quite as versatile as I would like. However, the Doctor itself can be animated. He is rigged, so you can, obviously. Um, so you can play around with him, create animations. It's got everything you need for that. Um, because it's low poly, everything assigned is within uh, one single texture. But again, that's just something you become used to. Uh, this texture right here. And obviously you find that a lot in low poly assets, everything here. Um, you can change it around if you want to, play with it, do different things, entirely up to you. So it's not, like I say, you're not quite as versatile as I would like. So size and price, it is free as of recording this little video. Um, if you come across it and it's a couple of bucks maybe, you know, just keep in mind that it could go free again at some point. File size is just five megabytes, and that is a fantastic file size. So that's going to be optimized for uh, mobile devices, for example. So if you're creating something on a mobile device and need this, then yeah, it's probably going to be quite decent. So what kind of game is this going to be good for? How useful is this asset? It's very specific in what it is. So it's a low poly medieval doctor. So if you are creating a game which is low poly, set in the medieval ages, and you need a doctor, this is going to be very useful. So when I say it's very specific, it is specific in terms that you can't really just stick this into any game and say it's a doctor. It's got to be very stylized to actually fit in, especially with its low poly style. So for it, for it like I say, if you're creating a, a medieval low poly game and needs a doctor, it's very useful. If you're not, might not be quite as useful but it's still a very nice asset i'm not going to lie i think it is very nice and it will do the dog job just fine so as you guys know i don't rate assets i either recommend them or i don't and i think you've probably guessed by now that yeah i would recommend this asset at least even just for a testing phase i think it'd be pretty decent it looks creepy it looks eerie if you're going for that style and i think it would fit in to um, a medieval game you could also try and work it a little bit more and make it less low poly but you know that takes a little bit more diving into and uh, creativity but if you want to take it for what it is i'd say yeah it's decent enough in that sense so guys do you have an asset on the asset store yourself uh, if you have let me know in the comments because i would love to check it out because i'm always looking for new assets to put in these videos because they are massively important that people know about some of these assets how else are they going to make their own games finally guys don't forget click that subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well and you can stay up to date with everything i've got on video game development on my channel and yeah let me know what you think of this asset yourself if you have used it 
I will see you around in another video. Guys, thank you very much for watching.